Hey guys, this is Matthias. Quite a long time ago, I started a uh, video series called Non-Intended Purpose. Uh, the idea with this uh, series was to use weapons for something they were not meant for. Like what you see in this video, it's going to be focusing on rocket pods and air hammer for air to air. Now, unfortunately for that series, uh, a lot of uh, nerfs was made by SOE and uh, there wasn't all that many we uh, weapons left to cover. Anyway, I became a little bit nostalgic and I decided to upload one video here, flying the Reaver, using the rocket boards and the air hammer, like you see here, and I will only shoot at enemy ESFs with it. There's gonna be one Valkyrie kill also. Now there are plenty of balanced discussions going on between the three ESFs, just like with any other weapons or vehicles, but when it comes to the Empire-specific nose guns that are designed for infantry or as anti-infantry nose guns, there is really no debate which one is the best for what you see here, anti-air. The air hammer is completely superior compared to the other two, it always has been, However, the, the thing that is debated is uh, the, the drawbacks of the air hammer and normally what is brought up is uh, the range or the lack of range. However, this has nothing to do with this video. What I want you to keep in mind though, if you're tr interested in trying this out yourself, or if you're just yeah. interested in uh, discussing it, is that it is very situational when this is actually effective. And that goes even for very experienced pilots. Now some of you guys might ask, do I actually choose this loadout when I am going for ESFs, if, if that is what I'm spawning a reaver for? No, I don't, absolutely not. My air-to-air -air loadout is with the default nose gun, the uh, M20 Mustang, and the fuel pods. Uh, that's, that's the uh, most interesting uh, loadout for me. It, it is of course more effective to use the coyotes or the uh, lock-on missiles, but it's so boring. Oh, Dexter is here. I didn't even notice he was alive. But, uh... Age lights, really. Now there's only fucking sights around here. I'm for fucking Phoenix then. Now next up here I'm going to focus on the air hammer alone and yeah, it's, th that actually changes up quite a lot of things. Having the external afterburners rather than the breaker rockets, it makes a big difference. Gives you a lot more maneuverability and a lot more speed. And from time to time I actually do pull this loadout for hunting ESFs. It's, it's rare, but I've done it from time to time mostly. It's when I know there are some ESFs around, but uh, it's not like it's worth to just go pure air to air. Now here I see something that I really don't like. These ESFs are farming this Sunderer and I think that's really lame, really childish and bad behavior and uh, something that I would never do myself. <laughs> so in anger here I just kill these uh, mosses and of course I will send them all tells about how you just don't do that. I think I'm gonna go ape. Ape. Yeah, it could be good. Ugh. Now the next fight here will uh, showcase something that I think is quite important to keep in mind. The bullet velocity of the pellets of the air hammer are only 550 meters per second, so you really have to know how to lead if you are fighting against a dodging ESF such as this. Now with the uh, rocket ports it's so hard to hit in this uh, situation that it's almost pointless to use them, except that you might force your opponent to dodge a little bit more and waste a little bit of afterburner. Now here is that example of leading that I was talking about. I feel like my um, station cache stack, I just it didn't stack. Now since that was the best example of leading in this video, at least in my opinion, I will show you this in slow motion as well. Pretty um, and see. I feel like my... Um... Yeah, the sound, and especially voices, sound really silly in slow motion. But uh, yes, yeah, as it wasn't my voice, then I don't hesitate to use it. Yeah, sorry guys. 
So yeah, I have killed a lot of ESFs with the Light PPA. I have done the same with the Banshee, and I will make some videos about that as well. But until then, I think there's going to be quite a lot of emotional reactions to this video. At least that's what has happened in the past. Now, ESFs in general do stir up a lot of emotions, and there's always a lot of debates between uh, the factions and uh, about which weapons and which ESF is the best. Uh, and of course in uh, what situation which one is superior compared to another. Now for that reason I want to point this out. These are hand-picked unusually good examples and this does not in any way uh, showcase how you can just get into the air-to-air -air, uh, game and just dominate with the rocket pods and uh, the air hammer because um, if you would go up against a very experienced pilot in a fair fight and that pilot has a dedicated air to air nose gun, most likely are you going to lose. The air hammer and the uh, rocket boards, they can be very good against enemy air, but that is very situational. So there is little more than a minute left of this video. I will say thank you all for watching and bye for now. JB oh no, it was a team this time. Here is trying to cap Posse, seriously. That is fucking unacceptable. They won't lock anyway.